Hi, Tony here at Views from the Man Cave, and today I'm going to be fitting a bash plate to my Triumph Street Twin. The bash plate is a part I've been looking to fit for quite some time, just haven't got around to it, so as I'm putting this on here, I thought I'd show you what's involved. It's available in the plain aluminium silver or in black, and it should be a fairly straightforward piece to, to fit. You've got uh, already tabs on the frame to take these they just need uh, a little clip fixing to them and then there's two brackets that go on the mounts at the back just to cover that up and I think this is uh, just a nice little piece it adds that little bit of protection underneath the bike but it also covers up that section at the front there uh, where the catalytic converter is or in my case the x-pipe is uh, just makes it look a little bit neater you lose a little bit of ground clearance but you gain some protection from that now I've got the bike up on the stand just to make it easy to film this can obviously be fitted whilst the bike is on the side stand as ever you get a comprehensive fitting kit in here from Triumph you've just got a couple of brackets that fit to the back of the frame and then you've got the bolts to mount the bash plate underneath again the bolts come in silver and again they would be great if they were black on black accessories but i understand the restrictions of costs and logistics on having two different fitting kits so the first part we can fit is this little l bracket that goes on the right hand side at the rear it's fairly easy to work out you've got a longer edge which goes at the bottom this one mounts to the tab at the back and you have the bolt that goes with it. And this bracket bolts to this little tab here. If you're running with a side stand, you've got to refer to uh, the instructions because there might be uh, another bracket that you need to remove. This kit also fits on the Street Cup, the Thruxton and the T120 and T100. So there might be slight variances on this, but for the Street Twin, it's fairly straightforward. This plate will sit behind this tab and you've got a T27 Torx head bolt that goes in there. Uh, I wouldn't do this up too tightly at the moment because you've got to obviously move it around to get it to fit so I'm just going to leave that in there loosely. On the other side it's a little bit more involved because you've got these uh, cradle mount bolts to remove and then uh, reinsert but with this angled bracket replacing the captive plate on the back of that. Now this is where I have to retract a little bit about what I said about doing it on the side stand. You can do it on the side stand, but obviously when it comes to undoing these bolts, you've got weight on that side frame rail, which makes this difficult. I've just put uh, a stand underneath it to hold it. Uh, you can find some way of chocking the bike upright just while you change this and then you can get it back down on its side stand. Or if you've got a helping hand, they can just hold the bike upright while you quickly swap these two bolts over. So these two are back in. Ideally you want to keep this plate for if you ever want to return that back to stock. Uh, you could just leave, if you take the bash plate off, you just could leave that bracket there. But obviously I'm going to keep hold of that in my stock of parts. And then these bolts need to be set to 40 newton meters. So I can get this bar back on the stand and we can get on with the finishing off the bash plate. Well, shame on me for not cleaning my bike before I did this fitting. So the last job in this kit, you have these two little captive uh, nut sort of uh, plates. They just slide into place on these front frame rails. And then it's simply a case of taking your bash plate and bolting it in place. And then at the back, this one you've already fitted, you've already done this up, uh, so this is going to be your reference point for the rear. And then for this one, you left this loose so you can move this around to get that where you need to, to be. And then once you've got all of these into place, you can then tighten this one up that we left at the back here um, and get that all secure. And that's your bash plate done. Just for reference, these bolts holding the bash plate on need to be done up to 6 newton meters and this one at the side here, 12 newton meters. So there you have it, relatively simple, quick and easy to fit. I think it looks great. I think it adds some protection to the underside. It retails at 100 pounds, which I guess isn't the cheapest, but it is a really nice 
press formed piece uh, and you've got all the fitting kit with it. If it's the sort of thing you like, if you're going for that scramble look, I can certainly recommend the Triumph for bash plates. As with all of my videos, there will be a card up in the top corner which will take you away to uh, the relevant website to have a look at this. There will be some links in the end credits as well as that all important subscribe button. And until next time, all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching, take care, ride safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.